Hello, Ice Beam Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission with me, Blue Inkylo, and our fine heroine, Samus Aran again. No, 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 we don't want to save right now. In the last episode, we got some new stuff. We got the Ice Beam, we got some weird squiggly beam, we got some more missiles, we got the Power Grip. Yeah, we're doing good. Sure took a lot longer to get that Ice Beam in the uh, Metroid Fusion, hey? Ha ha ha. Like, it was the last thing we ever got, in fact. So anyway, now we can freeze stuff. Freezing stuff is good. Also, where the heck are we going? I guess we're just going to go up for a bit. The uh, We haven't found a Chozo statue to tell us what to do specifically. Um, so let's just uh, do some platforming here. Bam, bam. That side over there looks very suspicious to me. But uh, kind of hard to really check out at the moment. So yeah, here we go. Uh, teaching us how to use um, the Ice Beam. Like all the other Metroid games, basically, you just freeze what you shoot and jump on it. I think. Basically, that's the idea. Maybe the Metroid Primes don't do that too much, but all these old ones do. Alright, Chozo Statue, go back to Brinstar. And Kraid, already? You really think we're ready for this guy? Look at this big ugly guy. Even his square is large. Oddly enough, in the original NES Metroid, Kraid was very small. <laughs> but everyone thinks of him from the Super Metroid where he was huge. So, um, he's, he's, uh, his humble beginnings were rather small. Um, oh, that's not quite close enough, is it? Anything secrety along here? No, I messed that up. Sorry, guys. My bad. Eh. Oh, ow. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah, good, perfect. Sound effects are uh, for extra cool factor. Okay, I'm gonna bet that the extra item is up here somewhere. Yay! Probably could have just shot it, but. Gotta keep your eyes open, kids, for all the cool stuff. I call you guys kids all the time, too. In this series, it seems like kids is good, but no. Honestly, I have no idea how old you guys are. Or girls. I just can't keep my mouth shut, can I? <laughs> Ah, it burns, it burns! Okay, so we found our first heat area, and nicely enough, in this game, the uh, map updates to show you that it's orange and uh, painful. So, um, orange areas are not good. And the truth is, most of Norfair is probably orange, so there's not a whole lot of point really hanging around here for very long. Um, if you have enough life or energy, sometimes you can uh, make your way through. Oh, yeah, that's the Shine Spark. Not Shine Spark, Speed Booster. Um, in a lot of these games, if you have enough. Uh, oh, oh, ah, burns, it burns! Uh, yeah, I could have bombed this earlier, I guess. I, I wasn't really thinking about that. Um, what am I trying to say? For one, this is that bird that I was going to jump on earlier and I forgot about. Or, didn't forget about, but I told you about earlier. And, what was I saying? Ah, heat areas where you take constant damage. Uh, in most of these games, if you have enough energy, you can actually zip through them and do stuff. Um, you can actually do in Super Metroid a suitless... Why can I not jump here? A suitless Norfair run and actually get all the way through it basically without ever getting the various suit. It's kind of difficult. It's a good challenge if you're into it. Some of the ROM hacks for Super Metroid also require that. Those are fun. Maybe I'll do one of those eventually. Anything bomby up here? Just for interest's sake. Nothing bomby yet. Alright, let's get out of here. This place is no fair. <laughs> I did it again, folks. Sorry. Alright, so now we gotta go up. This is why we have the ice beam. Although, maybe... Sorry, there was... I did bomb this right, didn't I? Strange. Would've thought that was something. Alright, so we actually couldn't even really leave Norfair until we had that. Because we were stuck down there. So, excellent. We're free! Welcome back to Brinstar. Now, I'm really starting to get the feeling that I've missed some energy tanks somewhere, given the fact that I've only got one. So I'm gonna try to hopefully find some before we go to the Kraid zone. It's not just the boss, it's actually a whole area. There's a map there and stuff. Um, but I would like more energy. It doesn't seem like one tank is very much for, for the boss, for one of the big bosses. We've only fought a stupid eyeball worm so far. Um, now I never did figure this area out, did I? Oh, I guess that's it. Yeah, okay. 
A one high sh speed booster block. That sounds dubious. Eh, I'll, sh I'll explain that later. Once we've got the speed booster, I'll show you how that works. In no traditional Metroid, Super Metroid, and Metroid Fusion, there would be no way to get through a one high block like that. Or one, uh, yeah, one high. One wide, as in vertical, you can do. Oh, let's go, uh, let's go get those missiles. I forgot about those. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I didn't forget. I could have forgotten, but I didn't. Um, you guys remember, right? Also, the ice beam should do more damage than the, uh, the normal long beam on its own. Um, because it's got ice effect. So, you know, it keeps getting more powerful. Some enemies will, um, freeze, of course, and take two shots from that, but, uh, so it might not actually kill them quicker, but, eh, it does more damage, I think, is the idea. And these things don't even freeze, so. Don't get any ideas of jumping on them to platform. Alright, come on, let's get out of our death trap here. I guess, technically, I didn't even need to bomb that. Now, I've got a suspicion that all these things are spawning from somewhere up there, and that there's actually something up there. Like, one of those, uh, cursed fly pit things. But, uh, there's no real good way to check up there just yet. So let's head on back. We're supposed to be going to Kraid, so let's move along down this way. I think those little bugs that attach to you also slow you down a little bit. I think we'll just go straight left for now. There may be some stuff up if we went up, but... Yeah, actually... Yeah, let's go up. Just, just to do a little bit of exploring. Remember at the very top, there was, um... Uh, what was it called? There was a couple of uh, these uh, back and forth dudes, and I sort of wall jumped to pass them a little bit. That sounds to me like that's somewhere we're supposed to have the ice beam, and also the power grip. So maybe there's something good. This spot, yeah. Remember? I, pa I uh, wall jumped up here. Yeah, well, let's uh, do a little bit of wall jumping again and go up here. And find some missiles! Yay! Everyone likes missiles! And another secret? Uh, not really a secret, just an exit. Okay, well that was easy. Anything else up here I should look for? Eh, probably not. Oh, actually, if I want to do some backtracking, I could go all the way right now at the top. I'll do that later. Remember that top bit where there was the acid that burned us that we uh, fell into? Pretty sure now that we have this grip thing, um, I could get up there. Also, that one block looks suspicious. Yep. Shoulda known. Shoulda known. Oh, these are slow falling blocks. I don't think we've seen them yet. Um, in uh, New for Zero Mission, there's also blocks that break very slowly. And those were the first ones. Here they are. You can't get back up after they've reformed, but you can walk across them, unlike the other ones that break immediately. So we got some more missiles, and some more slow break blocks. Ooh! Super missiles! Now, keep an eye on where we are on the map, and the fact that that was a one high spot. What do you guys think? Does this match up with that other speed, blocks, speed boosters block? It does indeed. So once you have the speed boosters, you could get super missiles. But we don't have the speed booster, so it doesn't matter. I could use some health, though. Thank you, Chozo statue. Now, with the ice beam, it's possible I'll be able to do something up here. Um, oh, I can get up here. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, if I remember correctly, and in Super Metroid it was in the same spot, there's going to be that. Yeah, I knew that was there. So what I need to do is freeze one of these if I can in midair. Well, that was a miss. I'm actually not even sure if you can freeze them. Let's just test them. Oh, come on. Let's try this again. If I can jump on it in midair, I can get it. Alright, let's just see. Do they even freeze? Oh, never mind. They don't even freeze. That sucks. So that means the only way to get that right now, because there's no way we can jump that high, would be to do some uh, continuous bomb jumping. Which I don't think I will try to subject you to. Because, uh... Oh, I got it! Wow! Blue Ankylo is the man. Or it's just Samus. She's the woman, because she's awesome. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get that. I, I very rarely can do those kind of jumps very well. So that was good. It was a good day. 
Now, I have a good feeling about this being the way to Kraid. Um, just, just got a feeling. Um, let's just fall on down here. Always checking corners for interesting things to blow up. You know how it goes. Well, that rock looks a little bit suspicious too. It doesn't seem like there's too much we can do here. The fact that I managed to nab that energy tank is pretty good. I'm happy about that. So we've got, you know, 33% more energy. The first ones are the most important. If you think about it, the first energy tank doubles your energy. The second one gives you another 50% or something, and then the next one gives you another 30% or whatever it works out to. Don't do math while that's playing. Also, crate room. This is more like the traditional green area of Brinstar from Super Metroid. Whereas the first area was, you know, obviously the blue area of, of, of uh, Brinstar. But they've, sp they've split them up for this version. So you can see it's actually... It's not huge, but it's a little bit larger than uh, you might have expected for a boss zone. So let's get to it. More Death Acid. And awesome music. I love the Kraid theme. This is probably my favorite theme from the Metroid games. Now, and this is like the Game Boy version. There's some really awesome remixes to it and stuff. Alright, so Hoppers, or whatever they're called. I think they're called Hoppers. They hop. You know the, you know the deal. Um... They're pretty tough, so you got to hit them quite a few times. Um, so be careful <laughs> if you're playing. Little eyeball dudes, hey buddy. And I think this looks, yeah, that I, that looked like there had to be something there. Ah, these, these are new. Drop a bomb and kablammy. You are moving at speed booster speed as a ball. So I can't remember the name of the uh, of the thing there, but they're little booster charge type things and they will send you um, you know flying like that and while moving like that you are at speed booster speed so you'll break uh, the arrow blocks if you're interested in that sort of thing anyway let's head on over see what we got hmm all right freeze one of these maybe oh they don't freeze so it's just a matter of jumping up there okay oh and there's these things these are also new in Metroid Fusion, you could hold on to things and walk on the roof, or uh, uh, swing from the roof, which was odd, because you have a gun in one arm, so how are you holding on to anything with your gun? Um, but in this one, assuming I can actually... Oh, maybe it's not on or something? Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not on, but you can hang from these from your one good hand. And if you can turn it on, they'll send you for a ride. Uh, which... I guess we'll go over this way. Felt a little bit scary going this way. I'm, I'm not too sure where I am right now. That's that's what I'm worried about is all. But we got good music, so... Alright, that's the speed booster thing. Cool. So let's give it a try. See what happens. Alright, well, looks like we found a secret, or... I did, anyway. You can, you can say you helped. If you saw how to get in there, you helped. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is how you turn these things on, I think. Turn into a morph ball, power it up. If you shoot the red dot, the thing moves on its own. If you grab onto it, you move along. Isn't that excellent? So yeah, those things are pretty handy. Also, save points are quite handy. Ah, so we got three energy tanks now. 400 or so energy. All right, 399, technically. <laughs> All right don't really need missiles at the moment. So yeah, these are pretty cool, and they'll be a subject of many... Oh, I can't get across that way? That was tough. So I have to go all the way around if I want to see what's over the left. And I do. Or maybe I could just go down. Let's try that. <laughs> Looks like that was the way it was going to send me no matter what. Looks like I missed something to the bottom right there, too. Alright, so this probably wouldn't have been on if I'd come here first. Because I had to power it up. And I kind of have a suspicion something's going to happen if I grab this. Yeah. Ah! I fell right into the acid. <laughs> Were you surprised, folks? Alright, so meet another mini-boss. He's got a weak spot that looks pretty obvious, to be honest. So, uh, so you just zip back and forth across, for the most part. And then shoot missiles at him. Oh, then the lava goes up. Or acid. I, I think this is technically acid. Because it's yellow. Ah! Pulled me in! 
You pain in the butt. It's kind of hard to hit when he's doing that. And you're supposed to stand over here when the acid is going. Yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah, he got me again. He's getting fast. Wow. Um, much harder on hard mode, of course. I'm pretty sure you can hit him when he's doing the speedy ones. It's just a little bit difficult. There we go. Come on, buddy. There you go. You're going down. You're going down now. So long, sucker. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. He actually didn't do too much damage, so... Um, oh, there we go. There's always something to blow up with bombs. Let's just have a look over here. I got a feeling there's got to be something around. They wouldn't have put all this underground bit if there wasn't something to look for. Why would they put all this here if there wasn't something? There you go. There had to be something. Missiles! The standard cheap reward. When there's nothing better, they give you some missiles. Alright. I found them. That's what counts. Let's keep on moving. Keep on keeping on. So yeah. Fought another little mini-boss. I don't know his name. Another one of these. A member of the worm family, let's say. Alright. So that's... He actually didn't give us any power-ups at all. Just the five misses. Oh yeah, I have to shoot that and then go across this. That's kind of sad. Um, I'm actually not even 100% sure if I can go down this way. No, we're going to have to go all the way around, actually. Shoot! You had to kill him just to escape once you went that way the one time. You would have been stuck down there. Alright. So now I believe we'll be able to leave if I actually go where I was supposed to go. Okay, I managed to drop a bomb up there to test. But yeah, so the first time we came here this was unpowered, right? Now it's powered up. You can zip across. All is well. Glad I managed to make that. I thought I was going to land in the acid. So, um, I guess we're going back down. I would like to get that. It doesn't look particularly difficult. So we got some more missiles. Excellent. And I guess that was it. I didn't even really get a chance to explore this room because I get I went speed boosting up. But, I mean, I think that was the point. That's what you were supposed to do. Unless there's like a secret in the walls here or something. But probably not. Probably just supposed to speed booster up and do what we just did. Alright, I was kind of hoping for a new item there, but uh, I guess we didn't get one. We just get... Uh, what did we get? Just an energy tank? I guess energy tank's good. I said that we needed some more energy tanks. Ah! Because I keep landing in the acid. That's why I need all the energy. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of low on... Uh, Trade some missiles for some life. <laughs> a little bit low. Well, I think, sad as it is, I'm going to end this episode about here. Because 20 minute episodes, give or take, seem like a good way to do these action games. Um, when I'm playing a strategy game, I'll make them a little bit longer. But for these, wait a second. Save rooms aren't supposed to have cheats in them or secrets in them. Well, this bonus secret is brought to you by Blue Anculo. Thanks for watching. Looks like there's more over there, too. Hmm. Can I get over there? Burn, burn, burn. Okay, I'm going to stop burning now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay, whew. That was a little bit tricky. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and have a great day.